All right, y'all, it's your boy, LSA, right? 254, man, see what we're doing on, oh, uh, yeah, console shit. <clears throat> but today's video, doing something a little different, a little mobile mechanic work. I know. Let's go. Hey, I be looking good. Good. I be gripping brain, nigga. I be gripping wood. Okay. Hey. My seven, my seven, hey. my seven. I'm gripping in my seven, my seven, my seven. Okay. I'm laughing in my seven, my seven, my seven. I'm riding in my seven. All right, y'all, so like I said, man, we're headed to go do a little mobile mechanic job. Something real simple. Y'all know I said I wasn't ever working on other people's cars, but I got a couple close friends uh, that uh, I know. And you know, they're just, you know, they're just looking for, you know, help a hand, whatever. They, they know that I fool with the cars, you know. I'm not necessarily like ASE certified or nothing like that, but you know, they say ASE stand for. Put it down in the comments. What ASE say, <laughs> what ASE stand for? What have you heard that ASE stand for? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, a uh, little slight work. Uh, this one is Familiar shouldn't take me no more than about 30 minutes, something like that. Something real simple. Uh, honestly, man, like mechanic work, it would be like a good look. I just don't be wanting to be bothered with other people's stuff. Sometimes, you know, it just it just grows into something, you know, a whole lot larger. But if it's if it's mobile and like I'm pulling up on you, pulling up on you doing a job and then going home and like this, that's what I'm talking about. Oh uh, I think this this is probably like our second our second mobile mechanic job <laughs> ever. Uh, last one was my homeboy uh, down in Austin. Uh, we was trying to find out what was going on with his his box Chevy. I got there. I had an idea. I had a damn good idea what it was. Ended up being a fuel pump, so we dropped it there on the spot. Bam, bam, bam. Got the new pump installed and put it back up there. Rolling, rolling, rolling. So that was a good thing. Uh, fairly easy solution on that one. So hopefully this one will be just as simple. Uh, we'll find out when we get there. I was just thinking something as I was driving or whatever. I don't know exactly like if you are or do mobile mechanic work. Uh, drop it down in the comments, man. Um, obviously, we are a a breed. You know what I'm saying? And I'm starting to realize that even more and more now uh, that we are a breed with a skill set that is desired Uh, and I also has, you know, the potential to make some money. So, if you do mobile mechanic work, just let me know how you charge it, how you do it by the job, whatever. Uh, I mean, obviously, depending upon how, I don't know how serious you would take it, maybe you would advertise at a certain rate. And then, of course, you know, parts and all that stuff matter to this as well so uh yeah the uh I know shops shop labor rate is what like see sometimes it could be like a hundred dollars an hour or whatever so if you took if you charge somebody like per the job like fifty an hour or whatever is a mobile mechanic or would you charge more because you're mobile I don't know y'all tell me 
Tell me your thoughts. Tell me your thoughts. Oh, okay, that's the car wash one. Yeah, because that's what we needed another car wash spot. But yeah, I um, definitely, 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 definitely think it's a great, great move. Uh, if you have the patience and the tolerance for it. <clears throat> Although, you know, a lot of us, you know what I'm saying, the, the jobs that we're doing, it's not gonna like, compared to what you would be doing on your own car, I'm saying, I don't know, you might wanna go that far, might not wanna go that far. Uh, but now I'm saying you're not doing the swap. So I know that I wouldn't, I, I definitely know I wouldn't do an LS swap for a customer. Like, I just don't have the time. But you know, something a little bit more simpler than you know, might give it a give it a spin. So, I'll uh, catch y'all back on when we get that one. All right, so we done pulled up, man. Uh, friend of mine's kids' car. Uh, said it needs a serpentine belt. That is kind of cracked up. I don't see a part number or nothing on it, but of course, you know, you can hear make model that thing. Pop the hood on it. Yeah, okay, Pontiac Grand Prix. I'm gonna make them like this no more. We are familiar. We are familiar with this little 3800 here. Very familiar. Uh, let me see here. I just gotta identify what boat side that is so I can move that tensioner as I see fit. Other than that, it should be a walk in the park. All right, so identify the socket size. Uh, this is, I guess this is a great chance to plug this tool here. <laughs> Extendable ratchet. I mean, it's really not that much. I mean, you can move it like that. Like, oh, it's a little tense, but if you extend it out, get more leverage, less effort. Put attention to how I need to be moved. So, uh, a lot of these cars, the routing diagram is like right here. If the car has it, cool. If not, check the internet, all that good stuff. And uh, we get the new belt. Here, see, I've seen another video. I thought I was gonna have some. always good to be over prepared and under prepared. So, I need both hands, but let me get busy. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I guess you could double check, make sure it's the same, uh, roughly about the same size belt. So, yeah, I just stretch it out. New belt, old belt. Looks pretty good to me. So then we'll proceed to take this belt, follow this wiring or routing diagram, and let's get this 3800 back on the road, baby. And pretty much like that, man. Got the old belt over here. The uh, new belt installed. It fit correctly and everything. Try to start it up. All right, moment of truth. So we got everything clear. Uh, 
Got things clear of the belts. Belt is on securely. Let's make it do what it do, baby. I'm gonna make it do what it do, baby. trying to look for any indication of why it originally jumped off in the first place but uh i don't see anything or right, if that was even the story i'm assuming so So yeah, y'all know about the scanner thing or whatever. So I'ma just run the little test on there or whatever, you know what I'm saying? OBD2 port down there. It's gonna differ by your vehicle. thing uh system two lean p0171 so i let him know about that code just out of he didn't ask me to do all that no, still the courtesy, you know, I guess you just <sighs> check out that on GP. Turn on the headlights, hit enter to continue. Oh yeah, y'all, the colors started again. I don't know, it's something in that column, man, because I like hit the column a certain way and then it just crunk right up, so. I don't know, I guess we just Turn off the headlights, enter, start the engine one time. Battery is good. Go back to the menu. Uh, alternator test. The reason that I'm, I'm curious about the alternator is because It's the original equipment. Like I said, it's just out of curiosity. I know if it was my kid, I would want to know that they good. All right, increase the engine RPM to 2,000 RPM and hold it there until the countdown reaches zero. So for about 20 seconds. Let's 
so there you can see Y'all was just checking the alternators. Uh, so this is good. Everything checked out. Uh, might just ran into another little job. I don't know. Y'all see if we keep it up. <laughs> Got that wrapped up. Job done. Damn, we up. We up. That was a simple one. Uh, he said, you know, he knows some people that might, you know, need some little smart uh, job done if I was trying to, you know, run it up on the society. You know what I'm talking about? Um, it's something to think about. Uh, as far as, like, within within the scope of, uh, you know, what it is that we're trying to do. Um, it's, uh... Anything, I guess anything is possible. You know what I'm saying? I think he said some, he knows somebody might need like a oil change and a tune up. Uh, I don't know that I would necessarily dive off into like oil changes and tune ups, but uh, it really honestly probably wouldn't be that bad. It's not like I don't have everything to do it. So, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But I told them I would, you know, i price everything, see, you know, see what it would run, and then get back to them and let them know from there. So, we'll see. We will see. So, till the next time, it's your boy, LSRI254. AKA, um, what's gonna be our mobile mechanic name? What does it say LSCR performance? <laughs> 254 performance or LSCR 254 performance. But you know, we got a brand, we got a brand in, you know what I'm saying? LSCR 254. Mobile, mobile shack. I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think would be a good, a good mobile mechanic name. LSCR254. Hmm. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all got. I'm thinking LSCR254 performance or one stop shop or. But see, that's the thing though, like, we're not gonna do everything. Small stuff, you know what I'm saying? And we probably gonna, we probably gonna stay with the GM vehicles. Yeah. So we probably gonna stay with the GM, probably gonna stay with GM platform vehicles. I mean, I know that's short and myself, but fuck it, that's, that's our special. <laughs> So we'd be a GM, you know, for your GM, GM cars, you know what I'm saying, and then, yeah. It definitely wouldn't be, you know, like BMWs and all that extra shit. LS, LSCR254. I'm I'm a brainstorm some shit. Y'all let me know what y'all can come up with, and we might make this thing into a reality. I don't know. Anything's possible. So identify your weaknesses, make your strength. Life is all about choice and choose wisely in your productivity over procrastination. And remember, the hustle don't stop, the grind don't stop. Don't.